Um, hey guys, <sighs> different day, different morning. Lately, I have been my anxiety has been skyrocketing. I don't want to lie, like, I just felt like everything accumulated, everything accumulating is actually like getting to me, like, things don't get to me that easily. But because of how life has been going, everything accumulated is getting to me, like, it's getting to me today. I am going to be going right now to go i'm about to leave the house i have to go do my criminal checks hoping that where i am going they have a generator because if it's not won't get if they don't won't get like that is literally gonna throw me flat on the ground dog <laughs> so tired everything is giving me so much anxiety guys like i've been living a life without dealing with this thing like i don't know i don't know like it never used to get to me like that like I think the last time I like I legit had like terrible anxiety was 2021. That was it. Last year, not so much. Not so much. I don't know. Like I don't know if I'm the only one who feels this way about this year. And it's not even. I think what I'm trying to say it's not even like a, a thing that I'm only experiencing now, guys. It's not like an emotion that I just woke up and I just felt so hot for about life or something like that. It's not even that bro it's like since this year started like since this year started man everything has been driving me nuts dog nuts nuts it has been driving me so crazy and i'm just like yo are we really sure guys about this life thing like ratio we literally we literally wake up every day certain are we that certain I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense, but every single time we wake up in the morning, are we actually sure about this life we're living? Like, for real, for real, for real, are we sure, are we certain that we even know what we're doing? Because I wake up a whole lot of times in the morning and I'm like, bro, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just really praying that God blesses me at the car, hey, like, yo, I need to give a fear to you, hey, 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 no ways. I literally have 20 minutes to make it to my appointment dog and if i don't make it on time like these people told me that girl nah dog it's going to half past and my appointment is at 9 40 it's going to half past half past it's 21 past 21 past nine it's going to half past and i'm still here what else am i leaving what do they usually want these people to go there? what do they usually want when you go there i don't know i'm just taking what i think took a pen took let me bounce guys i hope when i actually come back my day was better and i feel better and i'm able to just be better for you guys please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you later on you see i look better Uno. One eternity later. I didn't even start an intro. Guys, I've been running late this whole day. Jay. So I'll start a proper intro at a later stage But I'm currently at 44 Stanley In the bathroom waiting for Mulalo And I've just been rushing this whole day So I'm wearing a, a body suit And uh, I've been in a rush this whole day oh, Gosh Morning and the you are Yeah, 
style. It's cute. Lala's here. She's looking cute. How are you feeling, ma'am? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Thanks. Shanko? I just want to get lit. Just want to get lit. That's it. She wants to get lit. Hurry <laughs> Okay, yeah, grateful for life. Yeah. I'm grateful for everything. Everything and above. Yes. Cheers. So I left my tripod. I don't know why I did that. Um, you don't like wings, man. Eh? Why, Bele? I fight that way. Okay, should I order wings here? So you wanna get drunk? Yes. But like, <laughs> I wanna get drunk. Not She's been drinking. I was so sober. <laughs> That's my shame of being drinking. That's why he's not singing his eyes. It's like I knew, but I just got it in jail. You've been. But I'm like, I think I'm gonna get the hot wings. Oh, do you want the Korean style? I don't know. I was pushing it like the shorts. <laughs> My girls like I will. When are we drinking? Let's do this. Never below. <laughs> Is it below guys? Yes, it's supposed to be like. I don't know. Okay, just do it first, then I see what you do. Then I can. This is what I do. Yeah. Never apply. Yeah. <laughs> you know what this tastes like? It tastes like something we've drank before. But it tastes like body. Yeah! I think this very fans us. I think this very fans us. I think I need a savannah. Just to. The savannah I can't. I'm gonna order paint paste. My car. Yeah, it was the first thing I saw. Yeah, no. No. But I put it on the online menu. Hi, do you guys have pampers? Not sorry. You don't have pampers. I am drunk already. Are you sure, Mara? That's how I put my sauce up. Lalo and I want to try even after all. You know what is that, Minji? That's big. I guess it's keep on the bar. Alright. Okay. And Jalala. What's happening? Virala. Okay. Okay, yeah. This is how celebrations go, guys. So Lala and I just ordered wine. I don't know who we think we are to order wine and shots. Who do we think we are, ma'am? Who do we think so we many are? More wines. Who do we think we are to order wine and shots? We're the girls that you think we are. Man. Thank you. Period. <laughs> <laughs> so you're trying 
out this new wine. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, that as you guys can see. Um, Lalo says it tastes good. She loves it. It's a favorite it's wine. So, it tastes salty. <laughs> she says it tastes salty. Many more accomplishments, staycations, too many more boyfriends. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Let's leave me. <laughs> no, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. The, bottom. the bottom. But too many more um, accomplishments. I need an apartment, bro. Bro, cars. I mean, I was thinking about a car. That's what I was thinking as well. Moving out, my Bill and I ordered these wings because we don't want to get dry. <laughs> so we ordered Asian stuff, put in chasing a dog. Yeah, and they look juicy and big, so we'll see how it all goes. We'll see, man, we'll see, we'll see. The Tabona, the Tabona. This is our part. <laughs> Nance, what would you do now if you make a move on this guy? I'm not sure. Like, if not do that, then you stop it. Okay. Would you do it? The trauma. <laughs> Nance, you know what is wrong with this year? Make sure you do No, because I want to buy a new car. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Linda it wants like a wholesome relationship if you are in a relationship. Right. <laughs> yeah, if you are in a relationship. Or like your wholesome friends. You know. I think it wants that. It looks like a good one. It was sitting there on the cloud by the time I arrived. And this guy started looking so like I felt eyes on me. Mang Bapega. The girl just started getting closer to her man. And I was like, bro, I'm not interested in your man. It's not my type. It's not my type. <laughs> it's not like he's handsome and he's like, <laughs> it's not like he's handsome and he's like, it's not my type. That's what I'm going to say to you. I think I'm full. I'm full. <laughs> yeah, I'm not laughing. I just look back because you guys are looking back at me. So that's why I'm like, they just gave me weird vibes because now they're looking at you as well. So it's like, he then, like, what is wrong with us? Is there something wrong with us that we are not aware of? You know what's ending me right now? That the table after this table of guys, there's a table after them. And the two for two. But people on this side, they have a cool side with the gents, the girls and the guys. They're not speaking to each other. But the two for two. Like you can tell, good to blind date kind of vibe. Three of friends are bringing my friends, Marabari and Sun. Hey! Yeah, I get good. Yeah, just yeah, can I get much? Okay, we'll check in with you guys when we are at your mascara yami. Man, fucking awesome! I have a mascara stain in my eye. We'll check in with you guys when we are changing locations to even up the hall because we're currently at PG. Service, food, the service. drinks, nine. Service, nine. The I'm gonna food. give it a nine as well, yeah. The food, eight. Yeah, the food, yeah. And I'm gonna give the food a seven because it's not like a variety. Wait, the picky was service. Yeah, you said service, nine. Yeah. Food. And then food, eight. you said eight, I said seven. Yeah. Because the menu is not like a variety. It's not like filling food. It, it's giving tapas. <laughs> yeah, it's giving that. Because <laughs> it's, it's just wings. Tapas. It's giving wings and these mini burgers. Jay, like yeah. things that you can snack on, but there's no, yeah, aside, there's just no full meal. Like filling meal. So, yeah, and then aesthetic. Hey. 
10. Definitely 10. Yeah, 10. It's like a two or squat where you guys can have like proper sundowners. Yeah, I agree. 10. What are those spots is for lovers, guys? <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. We love them for the day. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, I hear you. I hear a lot of. But I think that the spot is giving like wholesome. It's not like too good, too good, too good kind of thing. Like when you, you'd go with your friends on a normal Saturday. Because you know, Jaiba and stuff like that. It's giving chilled. And yeah, Murado and I are celebrating because this has been a good month for us. So we are celebrating everything and more because oh, we, we are God's favorite. Yeah, I about God, guys. He's He's amazing. amazing. No, he is Thanks. amazing. So amazing. One thing about him, he's amazing. You're not wrong. See you guys when we change venues. Cute this rest that's the outer area just in case I don't record. And there's this cute sign for cute to drink. I'll use the bathroom once I'm done drinking. Because what? Okay? Because I'm from you weather, I'm up and down. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you is thank you. Lala and I are going to that Ethiopian restaurant. Ne? We said we're going there first, ne? Mm -hmm. We're going to the Ethiopian restaurant and, and if it's not giving, we're coming we're back to, to even after all, ne? Yeah, boy. Was in a good mood today. One jive it's our born alwena. Yeah, that's what alcohol does. That's what Bev does. That's what Bev does. <laughs> Lala and I. Lala looking happy. Can you see yourself? Yeah. One more time. Oh my love. Lalo and I are thinking of going to Malva right now. Oh, I'm too dizzy. Oh, in three minutes, no. Okay, so Lala and I are requesting to go to Malville because the vibe here is currently dead. They're only playing music, a peachy, and they're only playing like old school music. So we just like, you know what? I said, Ben peachy. No, man. Let's go to Malville and see what the vibes are looking like. The Sixers. But the Sixers has good pizza, though. Yeah, they have good pizza, good music, and all of everything. So we're thinking of going there, and then we'll just check in, you, check in with you guys when we get there. So yeah, let me just show you guys an overview of this place for the very last time. We were at Peachy. We gave you guys the ratings if you guys want to try it out. And then we'll just see. My phone is low. I need to get that charged. And send me for me. Just so I the for me. And I am in the Okay, let us be dancing for me this whole day. Lalo is sweet. This is not Alan's 
it's nice. at home after that long dilemma that I had anyways I don't think you guys understand so I just came back home and it's like Nibuma 9 and it's 9 and I was just praying the whole way because I'm not used to like Ubering home especially this late because the things that I see on social media so it kind of scares me especially if I'm requesting on my own as a girl 
this late you know so i'm just like let me just pray and be protected Yo, i just need to just pray i prayed in the bathroom okay i said an internal prayer i didn't pray in the bathroom i said an internal prayer i said god please protect me <laughs> inside but above all i just need my own place like i just need my own space to be honest and i'm really praying that i get my own car like sooner than i think hopefully next year hopefully next year i get my own car like i don't even care what car it is but i'm just hoping that i get my own car because on my vision board i put a mazda for this year and i'm just praying that i get a car guys so far bro, working is so hard guys because it's so many hours like i wake up so early in the morning i wake up at 4 a.m and i need to be at work very early and i also knock off quite late so i knock off at 5 p.m and i get home late so it's a thing of like if i do intend on furthering my studies when am i gonna study i don't know if you guys get what i'm saying because i start work very early in the morning i knock off quite late when will i study unless i don't know i'll figure it out as life goes on but i feel like my sister is the one who makes me feel motivated what to do it further your studies so that you can spoil her you know like i do intend on being a ca so even when my sister's like dude I don't have money for A, B, C, D, and E. Like, that I can also, like, have enough money to also help her out when she's down, you know, so that I can also take care of her the same way that she has taken care of me. So, I think she's the one who, make, like, makes, like, motivates me to, to, like, further my studies and just qualify as a CSA and work overseas so that I can start earning in dollars. <laughs> It's me telling you guys all of this, but like I just feel like I should share these things to you guys because I'm a person like I speak about things and they just happen not immediately though, but years down the line where we all have forgotten and then they just happen. So like I feel very motivated with as in bed tonight. Like you can also do it. You can also just work for in my course. It's it's hard. I don't want to lie like it's hard and i don't want to come here and make you guys seem like everything is easy it's not it's very 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 difficult but my sister basically makes me feel motivated because i also do want to pitch up for her the same way that she pitches up for me even now like she's like dude should i over you home i'm like no god it's just fine but the fact that she actually asked you know what i mean for me it's enough like it shows that a person cares about me more than and they're just like ah oh, see yourself was born a kind of thing so it's the thing of like i appreciate that so yeah um that's pretty much how my day went last night i was working i was working on a spreadsheet that i need to submit to the cfo just in case i didn't tell you guys i got a new job that i started this week today is saturday i started a new job this monday as pumaguyo and i basically work with the cfo just in case i didn't tell you guys that so i work with the cfo and i basically report to the cfo with my day-to-day -day, um duties and what happens is the cfo sometimes sends me um come basically i assist the cfo so the cfo kind of sends me like work what's okay dude i need you to do like evaluate um this works um this like I need you to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G for me and then send it back to me kind of thing because what I'm asking you to do, we need to discuss it at the board meeting with execs. So yeah, that's basically what I do. I kind of help the CFO and the team in general. Like I obviously do work in finance slash accounting. So that's what I do so i mainly work in accounting so i'm just gonna say accounting slash finance just in case you guys don't understand but i also in my current job that i'm working at i also work in procurement so i also work with suppliers and tenders as that's what i deal with but at the same time if the cfo needs my help i assist like right now i need to finish last night was friday yesterday was friday so yesterday as you guys saw me i was actually working on um a project a spreadsheet that the 
CFO needed me to work with um, that they're going to discuss work on sorry that they're going to discuss with um, executives and have plans for the last quarter of the year our financial period is ending next week so I work on the company's like financial performance that's what I was working on last night with regards to all the com with regards to the company's strategic goals for the entire department every single department in the company what their strategic goals are and what they intend to attain for each quarter so we try to evaluate what our goals are for the first quarter second quarter how we plan on achieving that what the variances are and um second quarter same thing what was our target what did we intend on achieving what was our goals how did we achieve it if we didn't why are the discrepancies um the reason for discrepancies so that's pretty much what i do but my main thing is that i work with tenders and suppliers for the entity so i mainly work on the financial side of supply chain and tenders if what i'm saying makes sense so me and mulalo just went out to go celebrate because lado just got a new job and I also got a new job and I also recently graduated so everything is just working perfectly my goal is to obviously become a chartered accountant like I said um, I just really feel like I just owe myself that so just work insanely hard it's just hard guys studying accounting is difficult dog like I don't want to come here and like bluff I don't want to come here and make you guys like feel like anything cool in my energy is just nonsense it's tough the journey is tough it's tough it needs um, emotional support it needs a lot of support and the thing is at the same time you need to also understand Guti people also can not provide you the support that you long for because we all going through our own things as individuals and as a collective period from me from a person who's very smart who's been getting like distinctions in accounting from high school it's tough so yeah um i hope you guys understand everything that i've just said please don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you guys on the next vlog because my sister and i and leona leona is currently in the bobo but leona and i and my sister are planning on going to ph like paula the event ph ola p paula basically it's paula an event hosted by ph so we intend on going to that next week Sunday, if I'm not mistaken but today Lalo and I were just out to like celebrate our accomplishments and just celebrate what you do we've made it this far because Lalo and I have been friends since primary so she's been my lifelong friend and I love her so much like I love her dearly she's been one of my ultimate friends who have been with me through thick and thin so i'll see you guys on the next vlog please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and bye